Hello everyone. My name is Robin Crowell. I'm a professional artist, uh, gallery show director, art consultant, and uh, instructor. On March 14th in San Marcos at the New Center for the Arts, I did a live demo. And if you missed it, I'm here to walk you through the process of that uh, line demo, the style, so that you can maybe give it a try for yourself at home. So the piece that I created is very similar to this one in the background, a continuous line. It was done in acrylic with a live audience. And the name of the piece is River Romance. And you can see that on the San Marcos Center for the Arts website. It is for purchase and half of the proceeds go towards the Art Center and the San Marcos Art League. I'm going to just take you through the process of, of what I did there. So you can maybe give it a try at home and try your hand at it at home. The continuous line method is something that's been used by artists such as Picasso, um, sometimes in cubism. It's where you just, you draw one continuous line on the canvas and just kind of let it do its thing. And for me, once I do that on the canvas, I will kind of step back and I will turn the canvas on every side and kind of see what come what wants to come out. I'll um, look into the lines itself and see if there's something in there that wants to um, emerge. Okay, and so once I find that, then I will either add lines or I will take lines away to make it really, really come forth in the um, painting. So really it's, it's a lesson kind of a study on line, shape, and form. Just basic elements in art and shapes in art and subject matter. For me, it helps my brain get practice in, in finding, uh, finding the beauty inside the line and form. So once I find that and I add the lines and take away the lines and get ready to prep for paint, then I begin color placement. So this whole process is very childlike. It's like looking at the clouds and trying to find the shapes and forms in the clouds when you're a kid and laying down in the grass and looking up at the sky. So that's kind of what I do. It's, it's very uh, innocent. It's very childlike to be able to look in and find, you know, the rocks, the wind, the waves and the simple lines and forms that that make these things in nature naturally. Color placement begins, so I will color, put color in all the space. I will do a full frame composition of color placement, so on the whole piece. And then, once that's done, I go back and start detailing. So the whole process is one of layers, and it is a process, and it does take time. But it's real. If you let go and just enjoy the process, it's really, really wonderful. Creativity is messy, and that's okay. We're supposed to be messy and have fun. Um, it is part of the childlike process. I, I always say, you know, just play and have fun when you're making art, and you should have fun. You should enjoy what you're doing. When you get to professional level, you should still play. You've just taken it to a, a higher level of play. My inspiration for continuous line. It is no secret that if you know me that I am a huge fan of Picasso's. So I love how he took risks. I love how he created feverently and passionately and prolifically. I mean, he was always creating work constantly every day. That's one of the things I admire most about him is that he would just, his creative process was a purging and was experimentation. And he left us with so many wonderful, uh, epic styles and things that only he contributed to the art world and love him or hate him. He's like forever famous. So, um, you know, a lot of this artwork here that you see, including River Romance, that was done in the live demo, is inspired by Picasso, his style, his energy, his boldness, his risk, his courage, um, all of those things that made him forever a legend with one name, Picasso, the master. During the live demo, I did the line, and you can see in some of the videos me turning the piece after drawing the continuous line and then I saw a bird and because I was in San Marcos and there you know 
guys are known for the river and and all of that um just wildlife and beauty and nature and hill country and rock you know i kind of went with that and did the two birds in the river um river romance and um it just kind of happened and it, it turned out really beautiful and i'm very proud of that piece and thankful for the San Marcos Center for the Arts and the San Marcos Art League for having me there to do a live demo. I just wanted to pop in and kind of give you a little insight on the process with acrylic and continuous line and Picasso inspiration. I hope that you give it a shot, take a chance, create a continuous line piece of art and I'd love to see it. Be safe, be blessed during this time right now. We are, you know, we are apart, but we're not alone. I love saying that. Thank you for joining my virtual demo for the Art League. And you can find more demos on their website and Facebook page. And to learn more about becoming a member of the Art League, like myself, you can visit artleaguesmtx.org and uh, do it. They're a great organization. They support, encourage, and educate um, upcoming artists and seasoned artists and give them a platform to share their gifts. They're a great uh, organization and, and I'm proud to be a part of their organization and you should think about supporting them too. The arts change the cultural landscape of our communities. They add value and beauty and it's something that um, is very important especially during times like these. So thank you so much and I hope you enjoy.